Hi, Dan. Hey, Sonic State. Hello, welcome back to Superboot. Thank you. Um, we haven't seen you here for a couple of years. Yes, it's been like six years, so it's uh, it's a pleasure to be back and to see how much um, it's grown here. Yeah, it really has. And you've come back with one or two surprises. Um, yeah, we brought a, a few new things with us. Yeah. Um, I can jump into it right away. Uh, yeah. You're looking at right here a new version of the 7U case. And um, what's different right off the bat is the 1U row can now move into either the bottom, middle, or top position. We no longer have latches on the side. There's a, a custom designed slot so oh. that the lid just fits into that. It's just one less failure That's point. That's the lid there, is it? Yep, it's the lid. And then uh, we have a new power supply, uh, lower noise, higher power capacity. Uh, there's a VESA mount on the back. And if you look at the back here, there are eight I.O. jacks. Oh. And the, the board is really flexible for how you connect to it. And we've got a nice sturdy handle there. Yep, all of this is custom designed, like custom tool plastic. The legs are glass filled nylon that are really strong and uh, really stable. Fantastic, yeah. Uh, how heavy is it roughly, do you know? Uh, I actually haven't weighed it, but it should be lighter than our old version just because the, the metal is now thinner yeah. and then we have re replaced more things with uh, strong plastics. Lovely. Is this available to buy now? Not yet. We're, we're aiming for the middle of the summer. Okay. So uh, everything we're going to show you today are prototypes, but it's looking like they're ready to start getting, getting into production, just some final tweaks. So Fantastic. Middle of the summer. Um, so yeah. next, next up, I'll show you uh, Swell. So this is a reverb module we've been working on for basically a couple of years because on multi-grain and our sea legs modules, which yeah. you can see here, they each have a completely different reverb algorithm. On uh, multi-grain, it's blur, and here it's called fog. Mm -hmm. And then we uh, expanded those so that there's a bunch of real-time controls, and then added seven other unique algorithms. So you can select from different sort of groupings and then subsets here. And uh, there's a lo-fi um, setting for them as well, so oh. you can got, kind of extend them even further. Very nice. Um, so the these range from everything from lush halls to Weird uh, pitch shifting, uh, uh, I forget what you call it. The, uh, shimmer. Shimmer, that's yeah. the word. And uh, then some modular delays and diffusion networks. And, um, it looks on like there's some kind of filtering here, low pass or something. Yeah, so you've got your standard controls like pre delay, size, decay, yeah. the feedback dampening. And then each one has a macro control called ebb and flow. And those could control things like modulation depth or diffusion amount. It depends on the algorithm. And then the, the final output has this uh, tilting EQ, um, which just allows you to, to even further finely tune. And what's unique about this as well is that we have this envelope follower, and it can be set to follow the input signal, an external side chain, or follow the output oh, reverb. Okay. And it's normal to all these inputs. Yeah. So as you're playing uh, a sound through it, it can cause all of these uh, parameters to oh. be moving and changing. So. Um, so like the size, the decay, the damping, the ebb, the flow can all be kind of essentially yep. modulated by that input. And you could also, it, it, it's connected to the input and the mix, so you can do the, your classic ducking and stuff as well. Um, it's got freeze and reverse, and there's burst, which you can also <laughs> change, um, and then a trigger that can be assignable to all of those, those uh, impulse controls. You can select right. that as well. So uh, uh, if I play like a really quick sequence here. Yeah. <laughs> I can make changes to the sound. And then if I you can see just right now it's starting to make weird changes. Yeah. Very 
Very cool. And I, then, I knew that if IntelliGel were going to do a reverb, it would be it would be something special. And oh yeah, we were that's uh, really interesting. We're approach. very picky about it. And yeah. um, Josh, who's not here right now, our uh, DSP guru has been combing through every single paper he can find on reverb <laughs> and studying them obsessively. So. Um, we just gave you a really quick taste, but yeah. uh, we will be doing more comprehensive demos of that soon. Wicked, man. And then um, over and then to my left here is something we really didn't know what people would think of this, but for us, we wanted something that we had a, a small desk, and I wanted to bring out like a drum machine, a sampler, and a couple of effects and jam out. Um, something to connect it all. So um, this is five stereo tracks. Uh, each one has two stereo aux sends that could be um, switched between pre and post, which is great for dub effects. Yeah. Each has a, a stereo tilt EQ. There's um, low, like uh, low cut filters, and each one can also be routed to the main mix or to uh, stereo filters. So, okay. Right, right here, if I flick this on, we've got a drum beat going on. Wow. Manipulate the EQ. Yeah, yeah. Route it to the filter. Cut. Can do. Cool. And um, the there's external A and B, which you can use as uh, effects returns. So it just gets summed into the main. Uh -huh. Or you could use one of your channels, and then you're able to do feedback on itself and EQ and. That's really fun for like feedback dubby type stuff. Proper dubby, yeah. Yeah. And um, so you've got, they're all stereo inputs for each channel. Yeah. And, and uh, TRS jacks. That was TRS, really important yeah. to have really um, proper uh, and balanced audio so that it's like pro pro standards. And do, uh, do we have any idea on price on this? I'm or aiming the others yet? for about 650 for that. Um, scoops will be in line with what we sell, sea legs and multigrain for, which is about 450. And the cases should be about the same price that they currently are, which is uh, six ninety nine. Is that um, sorry? Is that U.S. dollars? Uh, yeah, yeah, U.S. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, yeah. Well, you've been busy. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we 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 knew <laughs> if we we're coming back, we had to bring something new. So yeah, yeah, you've been busy. So yeah, thank you so much for showing us this. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, Dan.